Nissan's redesigned 2018 Leaf electric hatchbacks range on a charge has been EPA rated at 151 miles dash one mile more than Nissan's first estimates when it unveiled the new version. Nissan initially estimated range at 150 miles with the new Leaf's larger 40 kWh battery pack, a 41% gain over the previous generation's 107 miles. Among rival electric small cars, that's more than the Hyundai Ioniq EV's 124 miles, but less than the Chevrolet Bolt EV's 238 miles and the longer-range Tesla Model 3's 310 miles. But at $30,875 to start, the Leaf also is cheaper than the longer-range models. According Brian Maragno, Nissan Director of EV Marketing and Sales Strategy, speaking at the 2018 Washington Auto Show in Washington, D.C., the 2018 LEAF is just arriving at dealers now. He said, through the current 2017 model, Nissan has sold about 114,000 LEAF EVs since its rollout in 2010. The 2018 LEAF also gets a 38% bump in horsepower with a new 147 horsepower motor that also puts out 236 pounds-feet of torque, up 26%. Charging time is 8 hours on 6 kW charging and 16 hours on 3 kW. DC fast charging can provide an 80% charge in 50 minutes. The new LEAF also includes new advanced driving assistance with a single pedal driving feature for traffic, no need to move your foot to the brake, Pro Pilot Assist for single lane highway driving, handle steering, brakes and accelerator in a marked lane, and a coming self-parking feature. The 2018 LEAF is offered in three trim levels, S, SV and SL. Pro Pilot Assist is offered on the top two. The base S starts at $30,875, the SV at $33,375 and the SL at $37,085. All prices include an $885 destination charge but exclude an applicable federal, state or local tax subsidies. The 2018 Subaru Forester Compact Crossover continues to hold its own against similar vehicles from other brands and Subaru's other crossover models. Recently added handling and safety tech help, but the popularity of all-wheel drive only Subarus in wintry states, especially the Northeast and Northwest, seems to render the company's market share bulletproof. The Compact Forester currently holds the middle spot of the brand's three crossover SUVs between the subcompact cross-track and the mid-size outback. Next year the Forester will be the second smallest of four models with the debut of the seven-passenger, three-row 2019 Ascent full-size crossover. The 2018 Forester has no significant changes since 2017's interior and exterior styling and technology refresh. 2017 Forester 2.0 XT Torn review still holds for the new model particularly the shout-out for active torque vectoring in the high-end 2.0 XT Touring trim. Torque vectoring works in conjunction with the traction control and vehicle dynamic control, both of which are standard on all Forester trims. The 2.0 XT Touring trim gets extra help with sharp turns when active torque vectoring applies a brake to the front inner wheel. The Forester's handling aids, the low center of gravity Subaru Boxer four-cylinder engines, symmetrical all-wheel drive, and 8.7-inch ground clearance result in a reliable rod suitable to carry five passengers pretty much anywhere the roads get rough or snow-covered. Photos posted to a closed Facebook group show a pair of Tesla Model 3s on their way to Germany. Many speculate that German companies could be looking to reverse engineer the popular Tesla vehicle. According to a report from Fred Lambert at Electrek, a pair of Tesla Model 3 vehicles have been spotted heading toward Germany, 
where a team from the competition may attempt to reverse engineer them. While Tesla has certainly struggled to meet the astronomical demand for their latest release, reviews have been lauding the company's offering, going as far as to say that the Model 3 has no competition. It looks as if some German car makers are trying to change that. Pictures of the cars were discovered on Facebook with the hashtag Leipzig, possibly indicating that the vehicles are headed to BMW. The luxury car maker is slated to have an electric vehicle to rival Teslas that will be available in the near future. Sleuths also noticed a delivery sticker that could also indicate a stop in Stuttgart, the home of Mercedes-Benz and Porsche. As of this writing, Tesla CEO Elon Musk has made no public statement on whether foreign competitors are trying to reverse engineer his products, and perhaps for good reason. He certainly is a busy man. Musk's companies are doing their best to completely disrupt the fields in which they are situated. SpaceX is shaping the future of the space flight industry in much the same way that Tesla is dictating what the electric vehicle landscape could look like in the years to come. It would be no surprise if the competition is eager to see how Tesla works its magic. While it is clear that Tesla has earned its spot as an industry leader, the emergence of greater numbers of competitors will push the company toward even greater heights. When the Tesla can no longer focus on pioneering tech, perfecting it will become the new name of the game. We will likely see a lot more disruption from Tesla as it continues to unveil new technologies and prepare the world for the next era of transportation. Competitors are aware that they are behind the curve, and the path toward catching up could make this new era all the richer. Nissan's 2018 LEAF has just received its official economy figures from the EPA, and there's good news and bad for the electric car. Revealed back in September 2017, the new LEAF promised to be more powerful and increase range compared to its popular predecessor, as well as boost the amount of technology available in the cabin. At the time, Nissan said the 2018 LEAF should run 150 miles on a single charge. According to the official Environmental Protection Agency (EPA) numbers, in fact, that was ever so slightly conservative. The 2018 Leaf's official range there is 151 miles. Of course, with a 40 kWh battery, the increase in distance that the Leaf should run doesn't come as a huge surprise. The previous car was offered with 24 kWh and 30 kWh battery packs with 84 mile and 107 mile ranges respectively. However, that increase for the 2018 LEAF does come with a downside. MPG, or miles per gallon equivalent, had fallen compared to the older cars, presumably because of the extra weight involved in the B-Fire battery. The new 2018 LEAF is rated for 125 MPG in the city and 100 MPG on the highway for a total of 112 mpg combined. In contrast, the old 24 kWh LEAF was rated at 126 mpg city, 101 mpg highway, and 114 mpg combined. The 30 kWh LEAF did 124 mpg city, 101 mpg highway, and 112 mpg combined. Whichever the car, you're looking at 30 kWh per 100 miles of energy consumption. Nissan does have an even larger battery on the roadmap, though that's not expected to arrive until 2019 at the earliest. It'll offer 60 kWh, suggesting a total range of around 200 miles. At that point it'll start to be competitive with Chevrolet's Bolt EV and the Tesla Model 3, though both of those rivals will go significantly further on a full charge. It's the price per mile balance that Nissan is seemingly targeting. The 2018 LEAF EV kicks off at $29,990 for the entry-level LEAF S trim, rising to $32,490 for the LEAF SV, and $36,200 for the LEAF SL. 
there's a $885 destination charge on top of that, certainly, but federal and state incentives could take a sizable bite out of the overall cost. Considering 150 miles is probably comfortably into the safe zone for many drivers otherwise experiencing range anxiety, that may make give the 2018 leave the edge it needs.